Welcome back friend today in this video I will show you how to perform urine analysis in laboratory that is one of the most common routine test in lab first you have to take the centrifuge tubes that should be sterile and label that tubes with the patient name and file number because file number every patient have different names sometimes same names are coming so better write both and the urine sample we will collect that also be sure that it is collected in sterile container after that take urine strips and we will keep in each centrifuge tubes now one by one checking the name and file number we will pour the urine you can pour like that also that urine it will touch the strip also and pour until one particular level after that just stop because when we have to centrifuge the both tubes will be balanced to each other same level we will pour until same level we will pour the second sample now pouring time strip not uh, dipped properly in urine so what we will do we will close this and by my, now you will see like that you have to little tilt the tube and just dip and now we will keep back now these both equal level centrifuge tubes in opposite position we will keep in centrifuge and 3500 rpm we will do centrifuge for 3 to 5 minutes i will centrifuge for 5 minutes so that we will get good sediments for microscopy in that period of when you will dip the urine uh, strip in urine after one minute we will read the strip how much ph specific gravity albumin is there sugar is there ketones are there or not blood or leukocyte is there or not nitrite is there or not these all first you have to keep from down specific gravity uh, to and then you will measure now you can see this that pH is 7 and specific gravity is 1.5 and there is no albumin, no sugar, no blood, no leukocyte. Now if you will see the second strip, pH is acidic and specific gravity is 1.025, pH is 5 and in this strip also there is no albumin, no sugar, no ketone, no blood, no leukocyte. and we will write down our measurements what what we measure through the strip and it will include in physical examination now we will move toward the microscopic examination in physical examination we will see the color turbidity and uh, ph specific gravity if uh, there is albumin sugar ketones blood normal neurobilinogen bilirubin these all things and in microscopic examination now we will search any pus cell rbc's epithelial cast crystal bacteria fungus parasite these all things so first you discard complete and uh, uh, supranent and the sediments we will mix well and now you saw the sediments after mixing now we will put on the slide and we will cover with the cover slip And first we will for keep 10 uh, use 10 x lens to do the focusing after focusing we will move to the 40 x lens but remember cast we have to report at 10 x because cast is large in size other all things we will report at 40 x so first you keep 10 x and move the stage full down and then now you see with the course adjustment take slowly slowly up and at one point you will see the slide from and at that point we will move our lens from 10x to 40x
this is the uh, first mere view in that there is uh, amorphous this was amorphous phosphate because ph was alkaline this is second smear in that there was epithelial cells more bacteria was there but because of uh, video it's not record properly but just i will give you the view that how it will be seen but we cannot report according to this video we have to see at least 10 fields but I will show you how pus cell, RBCs and epithelial cells seen in microscopy. Now you see these are the pus cells. Pus cells will be seen like that granulated cells and these pus cells are many pus cells and other small small dot dot what you are looking that are bacteria and this smear is almost all pus cells only so it's easily to understand how pus cell scenes in microscopy you will see pus cells will be granulated normally this size or sometimes little bit may be more than but only this size you will see of pus cells. If more pus cells in urine that is called pyuria and mostly pus cell is also one of the most indication of UTI urinary tract infection. And if this much pus cell seen must need antibiotic treatment. Now you see these are red cells. Red cells are clear cells. There will be no granules in the cells. And you see the thickness. If this like that thickness of red, these are red cells. But sometimes you will see more thick walled cells that will be uh, bubbles. So don't confuse with red blood cells and bubbles. And if you will see budding, then that are yeast cells not red cells red cells will be always like separate separate and uh, like clear shallow shaped uh, round shaped and red cells different type of red cells seen in microscopy sometime you will see uh, like smaller smaller size red cells sometime you will see little bit bigger red cell normal red shape Sometimes you will see crenated cells. So it depends on the type of uh, UTI according or the type of uh, infection either it is kidney, urethra, urinary bladder infection. According to that sometimes bleeding it will affect the shape of red cells. But you can understand difference between pus cells and now red cells. The most common urinary microscopy things are pus cells, red cells and epithelial cells. These are the most common. After that we will look for cast, crystal, fungi, yeast cells. Now you see this are the epithelial cells. Epithelial cells are different type of epithelial cells seen in urinary microscopy, squamous epithelial cells, transitional epithelial cells. And epithelial cells, you see, these are bigger than red cells and pus cells, and some are oval shaped, some are round shaped, some are irregular shaped with one nucleus in the center. Epithelial cells most commonly seen in females than males, and uh, if more epithelial cells, sometimes it will indicate uh, fungal infection also. And one more important point, uh, always to confirm the UTI, always tell the patient to at least hold urine in the bladder for 3 to 4 hours and after that give urine and midstream urine prefer for urinary micro, uh, urine examination. Now you see these squamous 
this what you are looking in this microscopy these are squamous epithelial cell transitional epithelials are fully round these all are squamous epithelial cells if sperms you will see in female urinary urine then you will not report but if sperms you will see in male urine then you have to report crystals already i make videos acidic crystals and alkaline crystals already i made what what type of crystal seen in microscopy that also i made already uh, you can check in microbiology playlist even uh, granular cast hyaline cast these type of cast also already i made these videos now i will show you that uh, how will be the report of uh, urine examination we will give now this is the normal report format uh, one first you have to report color appearance ph specific gravity sugar ketones albumin bilirubin urobilin blood leukocyte after that we will report microscopy middle is the result and right side you will see reference ranges normal color is light yellow appearance is normally clear ph is normally acidic specific gravity is 1.010 to 1.030 sugar normally not present ketones also normally not present albumin bilirubin these are normally not present urobilinogen color should be normal blood and leukocyte normally will not be present and then we will report microscopy pus cell red cell epithelial cell cast crystal yeast bacteria parasite trichomonas vaginalis and mucus thread these all things we will report in microscopy if it is what what we will see and how much average we will calculate according to 10 fields after that we will report so i hope you understand how we will do urine analysis or urine examination in lab